Y'all, it's me, Tracy. Hmm. Buckle up for this one, Jesus, because it's a hell of a ride. I know people probably say a lot of things about me. You know, they say, Tracy's hair always looks good, and, you know, her kids always look perfect, you know. And I know that nobody would ever call me dramatic. But today was drama. And today was my self-care day. I take myself, and I do different things. And today I went to the botanical gardens. You know, I got a sketchbook. I'm teaching myself how to draw. You know, and I was excited about it. I get a phone call from my daughter's principal and says, you've got to come and, and pick up Katrina because she's got to go home and change. And I, I said, well, did she pee herself? And he said, well, no, but um, she's in clothing that's too revealing and she needs to go home and change. Uh, I said, well, unless she's like hiding clothes in her violin case and changing when she gets to school, what I sent her in was more than appropriate, Okay. So, I get there, and the girl, she's wearing the same thing. She's got a little spaghetti strap tank top on, okay? And they informed me, like I just don't know anything, that what she was wearing was too revealing for school. And I'm like, y'all, it's 105 degrees outside here in Los Angeles. You want me to put the girl in a parka? Oh, there goes my light. My light doesn't work. I mean, right at the climax of the story, isn't that just the best? Oh, we're going to go to commercial. So, you know, I get there, and he said, well, we're in the sixth grade, and it's just distracting to the other boys. Y'all, step off it, okay? Not today, Satan, okay? And I said, uh-uh. They're hormones. Why don't we create a class where we sit down and talk to them about the appropriate way to handle their bodies changing? How about we do that instead of sending every girl who's got to wear whatever the clothing she chooses to wear that we're going to shame her? I looked at this principal and I said, with all due respect, you're wearing a flipped polo, like collared polo shirt. It's got it flipped up with like an express like way too tight, way too tight of a jacket. And I said to me, you look like a moron. And my instinct is to punch you in the face. But guess what? I don't get to follow that instinct, okay? And I've learned that over many years. So if I can learn how to control my attitude, these boys can control their hormones, okay? This is the week you call me to tell me this. This is the week that you think it's appropriate. No, this is the week that we talk. This is the week that we all sit down and we figure out a new way to do this. Because baby, uh-uh, this system ain't working. So we're going to build ourselves a new one. I got to go. Rick's waving at me like, hey, come inside. Yeah, I know, Rick. I'm out of LaCroix anyway. I'm going to go. Y'all be good. Be kind.